Alrighty guys and gals, Gunshy Morai back here with another video on Arc Aberration. And today we are going to be going and moving over into the blue zone. We're just going to be heading back over to where we were earlier in the series before the server got wiped. And that's why I've actually been prepping with all the resources and building up all this. Now I did go out here recently and I did just stock up on a bunch of raw resources. I do believe I should have at least a decent amount here to get started and at least put up the foundation of my base. And I actually have been pre-building this thing over in my single player, in which that is where we're going to quickly go hop over to, so that way I can show you guys what I actually am planning on building. Alrighty guys, so now we're over in my single player here where I have pre-built a base, or pre-designed a base over in Creative. Now, we are in the workshop right now, and as you can see, this has a lot of stuff in it. And this is going to be a long ways out, especially for the Steam Forge. Um, some of this other stuff, yeah, it's going to just take me time, but I need, I need like, element for that thing. So that might take me a lot more time. But this is basically what I, like, one of the major rooms I've gotten completely done. And as well, I've gotten the main structure done as well, so this is what we are building. Now, it's nothing too fancy. I It's the design I settled on. Um, you may notice this hanger over here on the left. Now, originally I built this because I saw some other YouTuber's video about how he built a hanger for his Zeppelin. Now, if I knew his name, I would credit him more than just besides that other YouTuber. I'm sorry, I should probably research that. I'll have it pop up on screen if I bothered to. Um, but yeah, I decided to build this in it. Ooh, sorry, my mouse. I decided to build this and then the Zeppelin didn't fit like at all. It's it doesn't even fit on the landing pad. So I'm not even sure if we're going to carry this over. But this main structure here is what we've got. Um, besides the workshop, which is below this floor, we got this main uh, like large area. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I've thought about maybe making it a trophy room or even just stuffing uh, some farm creatures in here and, you know, setting that up. Now, up here on the next floor, this is the only other area that I would say is semi-finished. Now, we got this little area here, which I'm pretty sure this, like, upper area, this somewhat big room-ish, this is what I'm going to make the trophy room. But over here, I built a bathroom. Now, do mind the lag when you enter the bathroom. It's because the mirror's trying to reflect, and it causes some lag. But as you can see, as soon as we get away, it stops. But now over here, this first door on the left, this is my bedroom. I have decorated it. Uh, don't, yeah, uh, mind all the bottles around the bed. Uh, but yeah, we got a bit of a be uh, bedroom decorated up in here. Now, the only other area that I decorated was I made an office for some reason. Now, the only reason I did this is because in Syntax video, I saw he made an office. And that sounded kind of nice to have in like my steampunkish. uh manor you know that's kind of what this is is a manor so i really should uh des design some other rooms now if i'm going to go over here now i'm going over here sorry and up this this will take us to the top floor greenhouse now there's nothing up here yet because i haven't finished it but that's what this is all this stuff is greenhouses this is a greenhouse wall just with the frontier skin on it and then those are greenhouse roofs just with the steampunk skins on it over here i'm pretty sure this is going to be where i throw my dung beetles but yeah this is going to be where i throw the farm i just figured putting it directly on top of the house would be best there is a bit of a lag problem when you go up the stairs because it is on top of the bathroom but for the base i think this is what we're going to be building all right we're going to try and build this. Just need to make sure I get it lined up when we get back on the server so it's more even with this cliff. So, yeah. Now, we're going to hop back over in the server. Now, we're back over here on the server. And what we're going to do here is we got to go load all this structures I got pre-built up and into the charge station. Now, the reason we're doing this is just because it's going to make getting all this stuff over there easier because again I can just pull it out of the charge station and yeah and I did finally get it fixed so that way we can actually pull out our aberrant cryptoclitus and up from the depths where'd he go did get it fixed so that way he is showing the proper texture now 
in displaying the aberrant texture instead of the regular texture. And mind, might I say, not mind, might I say, sorry as well. I am kind of tired. I just got off of a 12 hour shift from work and I really need a video for Friday. So we're just toughing it out. <laughs> I, I may as well just like disclose that now. But yeah, back to the video. So yeah, this is our Cryptocolitis and might I say, you look pretty awesome, my boy. And yes, use my, my boy. Now we're going to store you back into here and, okay, just a brain fart. And we're going to go proceed to store up all the, did I only grab 10 stone walls really? Damn. Also the Parasaur just scared me. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go finish loading that stuff up and then I'm going to start heading over to where I need to go build the base on the server here. Also, I just realized something here as I was loading things up. I need the behemoth gate in the gateways on me so that way when I get there I can actually lock up the area and block it off to make it safe. Okay, so this is my last load of stuff. I'm gonna drop it off in and now we should be good to head over to the blue zone. Technically. But I need to actually go load up on some stuff here. So I'm gonna go grab my shotgun. I'm gonna go grab some of the aquatic mushrooms and I'm going to grab me some of my cooked meat. Which, that's all pretty easy because I just have to grab it out of the storages. I don't need all the mushrooms, I just need about, like, 600. Thank you. Speaking about those mushrooms, we should down some so that way I don't have a dehydration. But now for the shotgun, I think I'm actually going to leave all my arrows and stuff here. I'm going to grab the shotgun ammo. Now the reason why we're grabbing this is just because it is a lot better. A boomstick will kill... Basically anything that pops up on me. As long as it's not a Basilisk or a Rock Drake. And which over where this base is, I highly doubt that. This is more just to deal with uh, Carnos and Ravengers. Now, let's -a get going. Just have to get over here. You may also notice I did put a much, uh, not a... A cowboy hat on my Cosmo. I almost said a mushroom hat. Okay, guys. So, we are over by the waterfall. Now, what I am going to do is land on this mushroom. Or this rock. This rock works. Now, our base is quite literally over there, where that tree is. So, from the waterfall, that's all I have to do. We are quite literally almost there. Now, this actually surprisingly took me longer because I actually got lost at Portal somehow when I went. <laughs> I know, it's weird. I got lost, not like on the actual like Portal area, on the bridge like that leads out from Portal. I got stuck at the very end of that bridge. And yeah, it was just like my, I couldn't like remember where to go from there for some reason. Ooh, I hit the ground. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh no! Grab there. Now we just gotta slowly work our way over. I might have to get some uh, altitude here at some point. And yeah, that's that's definitely like at some point soon. <laughs> but we are almost there. Okay, so oh, that's a megalosaurus I'm swinging right in at. Okay, let's go up, up, up. Thank you. Now, what is around here that I'm going to have to deal with? Absolutely nothing. Perfect. Just what I like. Uh, just a bunch of Northros. That I actually, yeah, I'm going to have to deal with because they're going to eat generators. Dang it, I didn't know. Ooh, hey, baby Ravenger. Level 80, baby Ravenger. Can I claim you? No. Here soon, probably, if I uh, manage to find your mother. Uh, but let's get these gates put up first. So that way I can say I blocked you guys all out. And now I own the area. Boom, boom, boom. Now I just need these. A bang. And a bang. Now, boom, yeah. Everything's locked out. Anything epic going on out here? Just that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, really? 
Yeah, I'm not going to deal with that. But anyways, oh no, close the gate. What we're going to start doing here is working on getting the foundation set up for the base. Now, in all honesty, I should have brought creatures with. Just so that way it would have made clearing out all this stuff easier. But we got to remember as well to get it lined up with this. Okay, so I kind of see the angle I need to move at now with my foundations. Okay, I'm just trying to right now, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get my first foundation lined up perfectly. Now, I know this is kind of hard to do in, in my uh, server right now because I built that entire house in creative. So the flight was a lot better. And bang, I think this was about, this should be about good. I forgot to grab the foundations. I am a genius, people. I am a genius. Okay, I think this one should be just perfect. I just want to get the foundation lined up before I just start clearing out plants. Because I do actually kind of want to leave some of the plants. I'm going the wrong way. Let me get this way. Okay. Yes, that is already, I can tell, lined up better than the last time. Because last time I lined it up with that one and it, yeah, it's a little bit wonky. This time it's lined up better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop down here. And we're going to actually start chopping everything up with this hatchet. Okay, so I've gotten somewhat of the basics of the foundation laid out. And I've been kind of going careful as well with the stuff I cut down. Because in my single player, I kind of just went bulldozed everything except for those trees over there. And I was really hoping to keep this tree up. But it looks like it is going to be in the way. So sadly, we have to cut it down. Hopefully here, though, we can keep a bit of these smaller trees if I can get them out of the way. Um, and as well, was there a rock? Or did I already get the rock? Okay, there wasn't. But yeah, just wanted to get that in real quick. So we're going to quickly finish this off with the foundation. And I'm going to get back to you guys when I'm ready. Also, if you can't tell by like me the way i'm talking my brain is like shutting down right now again i worked a 12 hour shift before i decided to record today this was just because i really really decided i needed an arc video for friday which today is technically friday it is exactly 1 30 a.m and yeah my throat is killing me i'm drinking a bud light and yeah i ain't gonna lie though the bud light is really helping with my throat now, as well, in my uh, single player there, I went all fancy and even, like, brought the walls down to the very ground. Uh, this time, I'm not going to do that. Just because I doesn't have to look, like, fancy, especially from the backside. Uh, and, as well, it saves me resources. And I'm just figuring that's going to make it a lot easier. What I am going to do, though, is we are going to go around and finish off all of this. And wabam, and there we go. Now, right here, you may notice this little section here where it's like one floor down. This is actually where my uh, dino gateway actually into the workshop there is going to go. And now I got to get the quarter walls here to fill in this gap. And I still got to build the wooden ramps. But otherwise, that is starting to look really good. Now, as well, the actual walls here of the workshop, the stone part are three high so i'm just going around to all the corners right now with the walls i have and we're building up three high just so that way i can kind of somewhat get a visualization of how high this is gonna start looking as we build it and as well i'm going to oh no don't do that i am going to quickly fill in i don't have enough to fill in the gap but we're going to go grab the half walls here and all the other stuff. And we're just going to start cracking away at this. Okay, as well. You may notice that this one corner right here looks a little different than all the others. Well, the reason that is because I got to set up the wall a little bit different here. Because this is where my main entrance to the base goes. Now, boom. We're going to change it up here from my single player. Because I only had it the, as the one wide. We're going to go double wide this time. 
but there's that now i do got to get the sloped uh stone roof part there and then we can finish off the top but that can go on hold here for a minute now what we're gonna do is finish with the stone walls okay as well that should be the bottom row complete except for the front now you may notice this is a little wonky that is again because i need four sloped roofs just that way for when i build the little patio section out here it looks nice okay so the starting foundation of the base is all kind of put up um, now all I'm missing is the stuff that I forgot to build and I didn't throw my raw resources into my, uh, you know, the, what is it called? The transmitter storage there. So I am actually going to have to go chop up some rocks here real quick, just so that way I can finish the walls. Um, sadly, I am going to have to run back to the base here to get the stuff for the gate, the ramps and all that. Um, I do got other stuff here in the, what was it? Uh, charge station. That I can pull out such as pillars and the stone ceilings but again those I can't really use anything else here except the pillars as of right now so what I'm going to be doing is actually calling it here for this episode just because again this was just a quickie to get one for tomorrow or for Friday so I am sorry about the quality I know I have been promising better quality and I have been trying to do it um, uh, the death counter will be starting again uh, I guess, yeah, this episode, as of right now, we are at 10 deaths, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, in my little logbook here, we are at 10 deaths. So, bing, that's on the screen. But, yeah, anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, even though it is a little scuffed, uh, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, if you guys would like, please do share and ring the notification bell. And, yeah, this has been Gunjamori signing off. Peace.